Hi team, I just wanted to make a quick video to help you with today's assignment. We're working on the human influence document and we're starting by looking at different watersheds. When water hits the land, it's going to move through whatever it needs to to get to the lowest point of water. And that is the watershed. So the first part of this is trying to figure out what exactly is a watershed and where are things draining into. So once you have this open, okay, go to Google Maps, which I have open for you, and type in the first location. So here's Google Maps, and we'll type in Erie, Pennsylvania. The map will pull up the land of Erie, and what you're looking for is the large body of water that's near this area. You can click on the satellite image if you prefer, and then you can see the water up here, or you can look at the map. I think the map is a little easier with the contrasting colors. Here's Erie, Pennsylvania, and it looks like the watershed of Erie, Pennsylvania would be the Presque Isle Bay, which is actually part of Lake Erie, but you could write down Presque Isle Bay or Lake Erie. That would go right in this box. The next one is Annapolis, Maryland. So then you would type in Annapolis, Maryland. And it outlines for you. And then if you look at Annapolis, there's lots of little waterways in here. But all of these little waterways are draining into a larger area. This watershed is draining into this larger body of water. So you might write down the Severn River, which is, whoops which is the bigger body of water um, located on the side here. I guess I should use these. It's a little more clear. Okay, so why we look at these. So, for example, if you're over here, it looks like it's um, Miss Shirley's Cafe. If Miss Shirley decides to dump a bunch of pollution in her parking lot, eventually it's going to run through the watershed and end up in the Severn River. Now, it might first go through a small creek, which might lead into this little tributary, which then would run all the way down into the Severn River, which then it continues into a larger body of water. But the watershed encompasses all the area that drains into the same body of water. So if there's cafes all over this watershed dumping pollution, that's a lot of pollution that's going to end up in this large body of water and then that's gonna cause a problem. So we do have to look out for all the area within one watershed. Hope that helps. Come into office hours if you need anything else.